allow me to speak. We are asking you to consider it. Because right now what you're doing is you are not considering what the people want, the very people that have put you in the position to which you are in. We are coming from different areas in Oakland. As a part of Black Organizing Project, as a parent and as a resident of the city, I'm asking you to remove the police from the Oakland Unified School District okay. and for as soon as 2020. Okay, we are now moving on, ma'am. We're now going to move on to public comment on agenda items. We have, we, we have given you our heard. plan, and we want to make sure that you have not only okay. read it, that you have also talked with your peers about it. Some of you have not even responded, and the people have been asking you for weeks and for months to do something about this, and nothing has happened. As a parent, I am appalled. As a former teacher, I am appalled. As a person that has lived in Oakland all my life, I am appalled. We need to get some people up here that are actually going to stand and do what we have asked them to do. I do not want to bury my children on the back of Oakland Unified School District. They see enough police. We're asking for you. Make a commitment. Make a stand. My youngest son is seven years old. I do not want to bury my son because my son gets killed by an Oakland Unified School District police officer. And this is real. This is not a game. We're asking for you. Just make it plain. Just do what we're asking for you to do. There is no reason why you cannot. We've given you, we've taken out all of the myths that you've given. We've taken out all of the questions that you've given. It's not a matter of money. It's a matter of perspective. And if you look at it as the people are looking at it, then you will see that this is not a game. This is something that is serious, that is costing lives, and has already cost people lives. Please. Pay attention to the BOP uh, plan. Pay attention to what the people are asking you. Please get the police out of our schools. Thank you. Black students and black families migrating to Oakland from the South were framed in the racist rhetoric of black delinquency and black dysfunction, which led to school and police collaboration. In the 1960s, policing in, in school and zero tolerance policies in the three decades since then, policing, punishment, and criminalization have invaded every facet of the black life, driving the black community out of Oakland. OUSD is openly participating in continuing this racist legacy. Can you please state your name for the record? Akila Shaki. And you're, you're, you, you, I don't recall your name for item O, which is public comment on, on, on agenda She's item on eight. On. Eight. Hey. Hey. Get to divest from school policing by eliminating the Oakland School Police Department by 2020 and barring any future contract with law enforcement. Why is this important? Because Oakland Unified School District data on disproportionate enforcement and school policing. We are going to go back and into recess. This Oakland is not the agenda item on which we are taking comment right now. School policing con contradicts Oakland Unified School District values of equity sanctuary and putting students first. It directly undermines Oakland Unified School District's commitment to restorative justice and trauma-informed practices. <laughs> school policing of 18 school districts in Alameda County, Oakland Unified School District is the only district to have its own internal police department, costing over $2.3 million annually, not including an additional $4. million spent on security personnel that contributes to the overall criminalizing and punitive school discipline climate. Hi, I'm Malcolm Ross, and I'll be part three. Uh, many students who are currently being criminalized at school have mental health needs, behavioral health needs, or disabilities. Policing and criminalization disproportionately impacts them and often causes them deeper harm or trauma. These students in their school need stronger support. Currently, OUSD staffing levels for school-based mental health fall, far short of, fall far short of national recommendations for students to staff ratios. In the student year of 2018-2019, the ratio of students per school psychologist was 965 to 1. For school social workers, the ratio was 1,619 to 1. And for counselors, it was 984 to 1. We're going into 10 years where you have seen the community. We have come up here. We have talked to you about our traumatic experiences with police. We have dug deep into the data. We ended up knowing more about 
We do know more about the school police department than you all. We have come up here year after year after year, meeting after meeting after meeting, saying to you guys, we warned you about what happened at the school board meeting on the 23rd. We, we knew that the police was wrong. You think that by protecting yourselves from, from regular community is something Look at what they did to the people here. But think about how worse black and brown students got it in those classrooms, in those schools.